Um, here he is talking. Now you can see she's clearly taller. Okay. So tall white chick, Asian guy. But, see, he knows me because I'm famous. <laughs> but, what are you famous for? Uh, playing poker. Uh, yeah, he was in the WSOB. Being, being tall and, and... Being tall? In the back right now. Go. I was like, Kim, you know, the audio card fell out. I was like, it's okay. I was like, I was like, it's totally, I was like, I was like, it's totally. <laughs> it's all good. Look at, I'm like, I'm like almost too tall for this door frame watch. Almost. Mm -hmm. Next year, you'll be too tall for that. <laughs> Next year, I'm still growing. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today's video is going to be about a short Asian client who took home a six foot tall white chick virgin during a boot camp. Okay, this was in San Diego. And this guy uh, came over from China, I think when he was about 17 or 18, to the US. Didn't speak much English at all, had a thick accent. Okay, taught himself English. He was short. Okay, now he's over 400 lay count. Okay, so guys are always, this is a very good example for me. We have infield footage of him doing one of the pulls. Okay, and this is a very good example for me because guy, I constantly get guys that are either saying they're too short for the game to work or they're too ethnic for the game to work. Here's an example of a short Asian guy with an accent, okay, that I was able to make very, very good at game. Okay, so we're gonna go over that infield breakdown and I'm going to show you exactly how he was able to take that girl home. And it's a funny uh, side note to, to mention that he pulled two out of the three nights in the program, but his closing skills were kind of weak. And both times after he failed to close, he gave me permission. And then I escalated with the girl and was able to close. So I actually got two lays off of his boot camp, but I had his permission to do so. Okay, so before we go into that breakdown, uh, please subscribe below if you're not already. New videos every day. Make sure you press the notification bell so you get alerted to those videos. If you find this video helpful, like, comment, and share to help the channel grow more. And if you're interested in my eight-week mentorship program, click the link in the description, jump on a 30-minute call with me for free, and I'll show you how I can get you very advanced very fast, okay? So let's jump into the infield breakdown. All right, so here we are. This is uh, night game footage. Okay, this is in a darker club. We're using night vision. As you can see here, here is the uh, short Asian client. I think that the perspective is off. You'll see when he's like uh, walking next to her, she's actually taller than him. And I think he's wearing like platform shoes as well. Um, but this guy came to me, he had not been with very many girls at all. And now he's been with over 400 girls, okay? And he told me he was able to start pulling like three, four times a week after the program. Uh, during the program, he pulled two out of the three nights. So let's take a look at the interaction here. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to skip around a little bit. Um, here he is talking. Now you can see she's clearly taller. Okay. So tall white chick, Asian guy. He's wearing decent clothing here. Um, <laughs> I come in, introducing myself, incorporating physicality, um, bringing him into the conversation. I'm helping steer um, some of the logistical stuff. Blah, 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 Usually when I, when I do this point thing, I'm saying, yeah, we live close by. You should come with us and hang out. Um, you can either come back or, or whatever, or have your friends meet there later. So we say all this shit. Um, I'm just fast forwarding just for the interest of time. Um, let's see. All right, she's like, this at this part, she's saying um, she can't leave her friends. I'm saying we can text the friends the address. All right, now, so I'm leaving the interaction. He's, she's on the phone. He's vibing more. I'm coming in to help objection handle. I'm helping him with the poll. Saying we're all going to go do this. Blah, 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 just objection handle. 
now I'm tapping him like to make a move, right? Like it's, I think we defeated most of the objections. I'm tapping him to lead. <laughs> I'm like, come meet our friends are in the smoking section. This this club in San Diego was it was a floor down below the ground, and um, a lot of times we would baby step them by moving them to the smoking section, which the cabs would pull up right in front of them. Let's see to the the critical point here. Getting in the zone, all the fucking clubs are closed now. I always tell my students, uh, when you're pulling or leaving the club with a girl, you should walk in front of them and they walk behind you. A lot of times you hold their hand. Okay, now he's holding on. Hey, uh, in my culture, this is, uh... The guy had stopped and instructed him to do that. Okay, holding hands, walking out of the club. From Temecula, and I know all the celebrities. <laughs> What do you know about Tanaka? All I heard was what do you know about Tanaka? You're like, I know you. <laughs> See, he knows me because I'm famous. <laughs> but uh, playing poker. Uh, yeah, he was in the WSOP. Being, being tall and, and being tall. Yeah. Alright, he's basically just doing like over the top demonstrations of higher value, saying he's a famous <laughs> poker player, which he actually was not. He was a, a computer programmer for Tinder. Um, so he used to give me inside info on the algorithm. Uh, okay. Can't you tell? Wait. Oh, tell me. I'm, uh, I'm five ten and a half. All right, he's saying he's five ten and a half. He's wearing like the elevation shoes. He's definitely not five ten. I'm five ten with you. I call front. I said I call front. I want the student to be in the back with the girl escalating. <laughs> Kim, get in the back. Get in the back right now. Go. We had a we had a female camera. I had like a five-person cameraman team. This was my friend Kim that uh, was on the camera this night. There was the other forward dudes. Get in the back. What are you doing? All right. Skip forward after the cab lets out. Right, let's just watch the rest. A $15 tip. It was, it was 50 yeah. Alright. Alright, he's holding his hand out again. See, some of this is like uncalibrated. He's he's still learning and all that stuff. He's holding out his hand. He wants to hold her hand, but he holds it out and she's like shaking his hand. Make sure she doesn't fall. <laughs> Like make sure she doesn't fall, trying to get him to grab her hand. I'm not. 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 i i I'm joking with them, saying, are you guys talking about children? <laughs> it turns out this girl was a virgin. <laughs> They're still going over the height thing. Dude, I'm like 6'7 with heels. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> da da da. We're, we're drinking fart. What? She was an asshole. Last girl, last girl I dated. I love her in Vegas. I left her in Vegas because all I was trying to do was get married and be a slut. To me. Um, okay. 
It's all good. I don't really know. Look at, I'm like, I'm like almost too tall for this door frame, watch. Almost. Mm -hmm. Next year you'll be too tall for that. <laughs> Next year. I'm still growing. Still growing, man. I'm still, still growing. Still growing. So if you think I'm tall now, I'll be really tall. You ever see the show Growing Pains? There's a dude on that show named Boner. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but it sounds like <laughs> Yeah, there was a show called Growing Pains. See, I'm just like saying whatever comes to mind. They're talking about growing. I think Growing Pains, I think of a character named Boner, which was an actual character. Hold on. The forbidden drink. And that's it. Ta-da. So, as you can see, uh, short Asian guys can still pull tall white chicks. Uh, tomorrow's video, we will go over uh, an Indian guy who's my most negative student ever, uh, also in 2014, and showing him make out with a hot girl in the club. Okay, now he's been with over... I think over 300 now. So he really cranked things up as well. That was, that was 2014, so it's six or seven years. But these are examples, because guys are, I just hear too many complaints lately about how guys are too ethnic, too short, too old, blah, blah, blah. Their hairline isn't good enough, etc. And as you can see, it is still all possible. These guys are banging hundreds of girls, okay, with, with the proper strategy. So let's jump back to the normal video. Go to uh, the boot camp with John. He took me out and it was mind blowing because within the first hour of us going out, we actually ended up pulling and John helped me through that whole process. I was totally new to it. And uh, we did that a few times throughout the weekend. And he was even pulling in addition to what we were doing within the training. So it was like, you know, this guy is living it. He's doing it every single day. Um, and one of the most efficient, effective pullers that I've seen, that I've ever worked with or I've ever seen. You know, for me, I was super introverted, super shy growing up, played a lot of video games, played World of Warcraft, and I just, I didn't think I had any shot at um, hooking up with girls. Like that was just not in my reality. But John made that a reality for me. And that was the first instance that I really saw of someone who's actually going out there and doing it every single day. And it was literally like, even I remember, remember during a debrief at breakfast and it's like, you know, he sees a girl, he sees an opportunity and it just moves it forward so quickly. I haven't, I just never seen anything like that. So I hope that was helpful. Now you guys see that you don't need to be making excuses. Okay. Even a guy that's short with an accent and ethnic, okay. In this case, Asian is able to still do very well. Okay. And then after my boot camp. He was able to go on and, do, and pull about three or four times a week. So he started getting about two closes a week, started doing about 100 a year. Okay, and then he was able to get up over 400 late count. I trained him in 2014. This clip footage is in 2014 from San Diego. Okay, so it's not an excuse. Like, yes, tall guys have an advantage. Okay, yes, some girls prefer white guys. I'm not one of those coaches that says everyone's on an equal playing field, but uh, this is an example. A lot of you guys watching this that think you're too short, this guy's shorter than you. Okay, a lot of you guys watching that complain about your being ethnic, this guy's ethnic and has an accent. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, he was hitting the gym and dressing decently. Those things helped supplement and then the rest of it is game and confidence. Okay, but he wasn't walking around thinking, oh, I'm, I'm too short or oh, I'm too Asian or whatever, you know, to make an excuse for why he wasn't getting results. Okay, so if you have interest in actually learning game and learning the full strategy from start to finish, jump on a free call with me, link in the description. Okay, you, we'll talk for 30 minutes. I'll tell you exactly how I can fix all your problems. Okay, there's a, a questionnaire. I'm gonna see exactly where you're at with your skill level, where your weaknesses are, where your goals are. And on the call, I'll go over a customized game plan to fix all those weaknesses and accomplish your goals in a short eight weeks, okay? We accomplish most of the client's goals by halfway through, by the end of week four, okay? So literally one month from today, you could be in a very advanced level and having lots of girls coming into your life, okay? Or you can keep failing, for those of you that are failing or, or getting lackluster results for many years to come, okay? It's your choice. But there's no obligation, it's a free call, 30 minute call if you're interested. Please uh, book that and you will speak with me personally. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe below if you have not already. Click the notification bell. Like, comment, and share to help the channel grow. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.
some do it for the income But we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum